everybody, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. I am Kimmy, this is Bailey, and we welcome you to our channel. She sometimes makes a presence in the tarot videos, so I brought her up just to say hello, because some of you are familiar with Bailey and her noises and her antics and her kind of walking around behind the videos. And uh, so, um, just presenting her here for a brief moment. <laughs> So, welcome back to all of my old and new subscribers. Super happy to have you here as always. When we hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to be introducing a new Ciro Marchetti deck. I'm ordering it within the next day or two. Um, so hopefully you won't hit 15,000 before the cards come in, but if you do, that's going to be our new deck coming in for 15,000. Also want to tell those of you that are brand new to my channel, please check out all my other videos on here. Some are face to face, some are hands only. And, um, you know, take a look at your moon, your rising and your sun sign. See, you know, what, what you tend to resonate more with when you're um, watching my videos. Cause for some people, for some people I resonate more with my moon, some with my sun, things like that. So that might be the case for you as well. Be sure to click subscribe though, so that we can stay connected. Thank you very much to all of you that have been liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. You have been so amazing to each other, encouraging one another, and it's just, it's so heartwarming to see. I, I, I know it's exactly who you are, um, and, and you wouldn't have it any other way, and I just think it's, it's magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Um, also, I wanted to take a moment to thank those of you that have ordered extended readings, personal readings, and donated to the channel, because you are allowing me to make that transition to spending more time on this channel and I and I super appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart absolutely do um, so we're gonna get on with the reading here in just a moment but for those of you that are brand new to my channel I do do a full-length reading here on YouTube if the if it resonates with you very deeply then there is a link down below if you want to check out the extended reading over on um, Vimeo if you're ever curious about which cards I'm using for a reading, I put links to those down below as well. Um, and for those of you that are brand new to tarot, I highly recommend that before you watch the rest of this video, you hop over to the sneak peek for mid-month that explains how I do this nine card spread. That way you have a little bit more of a familiarization with you know, how I work, um, you know, how I'm getting these intuitive impressions, what I'm looking at specifically, things of that nature. So it might be of help to you. Well, without any further ado, let's hop on over to your reading. And I hope that you have an absolutely positively beautiful rest of March. Bye-bye. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your mid-month March 2019 reading. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit. It's for Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Aries, March 16th through the 31st, please, Aries. All right, Aries, let's see what we have for you here. We have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Magician. The energy on the bottom of the deck, we have the Moon. Looks like there was some sort of heartbreak over something that um, you felt was, you were working towards, something you were working towards. Um, after the heartbreak, there is some communication and you've been kind of holding back your emotions a little bit. So our moon card is a card of confusion. 
in forward movement, confusion in regards to your forward movement. Um, sometimes it, it's re you requiring, you being required to utilize your intuition to determine how to make those forward steps. Aries, March 16th. the 31st. My goodness, it's like two cards that are very, very similar here, Aries. Love yourself first and free yourself. Um, we'll touch on those. You know, I see this heartbreak again here with this five of pentacles at the very center of our reading. So I feel like this is very fresh for you. Um, something that, that you're having to overcome at the moment. Take a Oracle of the Unicorns card. Aries, March 16th through the 31st, please, 2019. Aries, Aries. Miracles, love it. Love it, love it, love it. How fabulous. And let's take a Sacred Traveler. Aries, March 16th through the 31st, please. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. We will look at that a little bit more in depth in a moment as well. And then we're going to take one positive energy card here from our good tarot. March 16th through the 31st. Transformation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, real quick note, I'd like to say happy birthday to those Aries that are having a birthday during this time frame. All right. So we begin here, Aries, with... You know, you're trying to move forward past some sort of hurt, some sort of uh, feeling, feeling as if you're helpless, unable to see the hope within a situation. I feel like the heartbreak that you went through here, um, Aries, that that heartbreak really did a number on you. I feel like, like it affected your your thought process. And it also affected your energy and your forward movement and um, may have put you in a state where you were wondering, you know, how, how do I get out of this mental funk? How do I, how do I get my groove back, basically? Um, you currently may be in that state where you're, you're feeling like things are helpless. But yeah, this card is telling us hope is around the corner. She's just not looking over there. So hope is here, and I see the hope here in our future row. So hope is here, but you're not looking in that direction at the moment. So Aries, I have here in the past, there was some sort of betrayal, some sort of, uh, you know, deception of some sort, either you walking away from a toxic situation and saying, I'm not going to take it anymore, I've had enough, and deciding to go your own way, kind of have that lone wolf energy, um, leaving those sleepless nights behind, leaving the stress behind, and, and, and just saying, you know, I'm looking out for me, I'm not looking backward. Or somebody somebody did betray you they may have cheated on you they may have they may have uh, you know spoken behind your back there's a warning with the seven of swords not to betray your tribe not to betray your tribe there may have been some gossiping as well that could have been hurtful in some way we do have this knight of swords energy which is a very impulsive knight um, this knight, you know, kind of like charges forward to communicate, 
but really is kind of confused, not knowing exactly what they're going to say, exactly which direction they're going to go in. But they charge forward and they speak kind of without really giving a whole lot of thought to things. And I feel like there was some communication between you and another person, likely this person who um, caused the heartbreak for you, Aries. And the communication that occurred may have left you in more of a state of confusion or it has caused this desire to walk away and look after yourself. We do have this page of cups energy here. So I feel like somebody may have recently entered your life or came back into your life. Um, with the page of cups, it says romance is in the air. Well, you know, I don't see romance up here, but I feel like there may have been a hint of the potential of a new romance or a new partnership, something of that nature. Because we do see that here in our future row. And this may be where that confusion is about stepping forward. Do you step forward towards this new person and see what is there? Or do you guard your heart and protect yourself because you're feeling kind of trapped and helpless about forward movement? I do see that you are going to be moving towards that with the chariot. I feel like you're going to be moving. You're going to be taking that step into the future, into the unknown, not really knowing how it's going to, to work itself out. But, you know, see, look, look at the, the crescent moons on his sleeve. I just find that, that so fascinating. We're looking at the moon card and there's crescent moons on his sleeves. It's like, you know, you're, you're making that decision to step forward towards victory, not really knowing what's going to happen, but saying, you know, all right, I'm going to make that step. I'm going to take that leap because... I want to bring about this circumstance in my life. I want this new start. I want this fresh start in my life. So you choose to set aside this feeling of helplessness. And you're going to choose to also set aside this mental prison you're creating for yourself. I feel like Aries right now you're very likely in this mental prison. Um, feeling as if you can't get out of it. You're, you've got a lot of negative self-talk which we clearly see with our advice cards that we have here um, and the, your mental thought process while we have moved forward from the 7 to the 8 we're still in this place where there's some there's some mental anguish and some struggles but you are going to be getting a new opportunity here to take away these mental struggles, this Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity that presents itself is, is going to take away the stress, take away these, these mental burdens. It's going to take away this feeling of helplessness. And it's going to help you moving forward to achieve what you want, to get what you want, and form a new partnership. So this could be a business partnership, or this could be a love situation. Um, we'll be digging deeper into that in the extended. But I do see here, Aries, that what we have, um, the advice cards that we have, one, love yourself first. Absolutely, positively essential in order for you to overcome that heartbreak and that feeling of helplessness, you must love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Um, you know, you have to, you have to uh, speak to yourself positively and have positive affirmations and, and believe in yourself, Aries. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can make that forward movement. Believe that you can let go of this mental anguish. Believe that you are not stuck, that you actually can move forward. Believe that you will have victory. Believe in yourself, Aries. And free yourself. Time is... The time has come to take back control of your life. Free yourself from the mental anguish and the heartache that you are still carrying around from a previous connection. Whether this was a recent connection or a connection from, you know, five, ten years ago, now's the time to free yourself from the connection that's holding you from moving forward. We do have here also areas we have miracles. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. That is just 
absolutely positively wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then we have reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Um, we have a butterfly in here as well, showing the transformation, which we see with the transformation card. Um, but this is, you know, this is that same energy that we have with the moon and that we have with the chariot. It's moving forward, letting your pathway be illuminated as you take those steps, as you move forward. Letting your pathway be illuminated for you and making that forward movement towards that goal, towards that green dream, towards this partnership, towards what it is that you're wishing to manifest in your life, towards this new opportunity. And Aries, I also see that, you know, your overall, the overall energy card that we receive to be of encouragement to you is transformation. This is from the Good Tarot. This is saying that nothing remains the same, that things change in our life, that there's, there's cycles in our life. There's cycles of death and rebirth. This is a time of transformation for you. It's a time to have that hope and new beginnings instead of this feeling of helplessness. It's time to have that hope of the new beginning, that hope of the miracle, the hope of the opportunity. And it's time to let go, let go. It's time to let go. You're going through a cycle. One cycle is coming to an end and a new cycle is beginning. Things are transforming, Aries. Absolutely beautiful. All right, for those of you that are interested in um, the extended, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into this particular spread. You know, uh, the weight of your reading is a little bit heavy, so I think I'm actually gonna lighten it up a little bit with our Wonderland Tarot here to do our um, our clarification of the spread and then we will be using the tarot of dreams to determine what the main challenge is between you and this other person with regards to this connection whether it's a love connection or business connection we'll find out in the extended um, but we'll take a look at the challenge between the two of you and some advice cards for each person on how to get past that all right, Aries, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of March 2019. If you're interested in the extended, there's a link down below. If you're brand new to my channel, please be sure to click subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.